Alexander Ovechkin, he is the total package as far as power forwards go. And they've got an issue with the ice right now, and actually it's a hole in the dasher boards right behind Braden Holtby's net. It's like a little groundhog has burrowed through there, John. <laughs> yeah. That's strange and very odd. You rarely wow, you don't see that, yeah. very rarely see that in the boards. Sometimes you can see a piece of the boards come off of the glass, <laughs> but... They're checking to make sure a puck can't get under there right now because this might have to wait for the intermission for a repair. Well, that's dangerous too for catching your stick. You've seen players catch their sticks into the partitions in the board from time to time, but you get a battle down low and you get a stick caught in there, all of a sudden you're caught the rest of your shift without a stick, so... I don't know what they're going to do with that. Welcome back to Montreal. 1-0 Washington on a goal by Jay Beagle. And Matt Niskanen broke the boards with his left skate. Well, I don't know if I've ever seen this before, John. And it's Niskanen's skate that goes right into where they end the, the bottom of the dasher board and the ice meets. And that's what Alexander Ovechkin I'm talking about. That's a perfect fit for the hockey stick. So you can't play with the dasher board like that. Ovechkin goes in there to check it out with that big boomerang of a curve that he likes to use but yes indeed that that skate of Niskanen just goes into the dasher board and takes a chunk out of it so I, I don't know if they keep extra pieces of the yellow dasher board on hand and well this, they do it'd be, it would be the size of this piece so I'm sure right now it's a quick cut going on in the shop in the back as they're pulling all the screws out do you need a coffee or anything while we wait or what, <laughs> what can I get you well, Johnny's got the Keurig machine up here, so we're, we're, we're all set as far as that goes. But just for your point on the on the Canadians, Kyle, it, it's just, it's almost at times they've been a tale of, of, of two different teams. And last game against the Philadelphia Flyers, they, they were only able to muster 16 shots on goal. The game prior to that against the Buffalo Sabres, they, they had an unbelievable effort. So you heard the players talking about this yesterday at the skate. They, they want to be a more consistent club if you've ever wondered what the boards look like under the dashers, there's a little insight for you. And now they're going to get the new piece. They're probably running back, giving a quick measurement, cut the new piece and run out and put it back on and we'll resume. But you can see, though, even with the backing on it, it's weird that it would crack the way it did. And here's the other thing, too, and it's not going to affect Carey Price in this period, but Carey Price, Carey Price plays the majority of the games here at the Bell Center, and dasher boards have a particular bounce that comes off them. I wonder if you put that new piece in there, is it going to be more springy? Is that puck going to be more lively? Kind of like you see in Joe Lewis from time to time where you miss the net in Detroit. That thing pops right out in the slot, and there, there's the boys in the back. they got a whole crew back there of Carpenters yep. getting this set. Clamp it down, measure it out. Now, that's that's the way most people, I think, do it. Uh, when you're cutting a piece of wood or anything, like, put the old one on top, just draw the line quickly and go for it. That's what they're going to try and do. I'm just I'm just wondering about, you get something new and the puck's going to come off there a little different way. And and, and you look, where I'm looking down at the ice right now, where that where that's positioned, shots that miss the net. Could be and a little more bouncy. To, and they've got to re-drill the holes as well. Everything has to match up, so. We'll step aside and let them keep working. Back to the Bell Center in Montreal. one nothing Washington on sports. And yes, indeed, the boards have been repaired. The crew did a good job because they brought in this guy. Tim the Toolman Taylor came in to help out and fix up the boards, but they got the new piece in on time. Oh, they did. Yeah, that, that, that is some pretty quick work for what they had to do down there. A nice fresh piece, and looks like we're ready to go now after a short delay. 